Today we are out running in the new Mizuno Wave Rider 28. I think this is about my third or fourth run in this shoe. It's a shoe that I'm very familiar with. The series have been running in it since the beginning. Very reliable, durable shoe. Pretty much nothing has changed since last year in the 27. As I'm running in the 28 right now, I want to talk about how the foot feels. It sinks nicely into the heel. Very cushioned. The heel has a new layer of the Mizuno Energy Next foam, which is super comfortable, super squishy. So there's a lot of uh, cushion in the heel and it fits very nicely. And the lockdown is perfect in this upper for this shoe. The forefoot is the standard Mizuno Energy foam. A little more dense, but it's definitely a workhorse of a foam keeps the shoe durable for a long time when it comes to like the inspire series the rider series the sky series i usually get about 300 miles plus out of these shoes which is good for an everyday trainer you want to get as many miles as you can out of these shoes the price point on the rider 28 is 140 dollars so it's about 30 dollars cheaper than the sky which i absolutely love which is a little more plush when you put this shoe on, you definitely feel a good stable base. Plenty of room in the forefoot. Breathability in that Jacquard Air mesh. Uh, everything is, is hitting perfectly. The X10 outsole rubber um, of the shoe is very durable. I've had experience with that for a decade and it wears very, very nicely. And so you don't have to worry about wearing out the tread on the uh, bottom of your shoes very quickly. I've had Again, like I said, three or four runs in the shoe, and what I've noticed, it's been kind of unfair because I've been running a lot in the Mizuno Neo Vista, the Sky, and some Max Cushion Super Trainers. So, of course, when putting on this shoe, it's going to feel a little bit more platformy, a little more dense. Uh, but now that I'm kind of running in it and really thinking about it, it feels very nice. It's definitely going to be a shoe that's going to be able to take a, a lot of your daily slow miles your long miles um, it doesn't roll very well to super slow miles so like the the toe off is a little easier if you're going faster probably getting up closer to the the tempo run but if you're running super slow where you're kind of hitting a little bit in the heel first it does really well the heel is very cushioned this is a shoe that even in the past with the inspire which is a, a stable sh stabilization shoe. Technically, all shoes I've run from in Mizuno that are neutral have a lot of stability elements to them. They don't feel like a true neutral shoe like you would feel in like a Nike or something like that. They just don't feel that way. They're always a little bit of stability in this. In the, in the rider, I feel right now, I do feel, even though there's really no true stability element, I do feel a good amount of support on the medial heel, which is good. I like it so when I hit, my heel doesn't collapse in a little bit, but it's super comfy and smushy because of the Energy Next foam, and I love it. So if you're looking for a shoe to take your daily mileage for 140 bucks, you can do that. Um, you could probably get the Rider 27, save a couple bucks until you transition into the 28 next year. If you're looking for something a lot more squishy and soft, look into the Sky 8. I just did a review on that. And if you're looking for kind of a do-all like super trainer that's a lot more smushy, you probably want to look into the Mizuno Neo Vista or something like that. I hope this helps. I hope the wind hasn't uh, messed up the audio too much in this. Until next time. I'll talk to you guys later.